The internet is full of scammers. Please be careful. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about a Trump supporter from Florida who had her old pictures stolen from her Facebook page. And they were used to create a fake Twitter account under the name of Erica Marsh. Now, Erica Marsh was a verified blue check. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. This particular page had over 112,000 followers. And a lot of people high up, Matt Gates and whatnot, were interacting with this account, thinking that it was some kind of super liberal, troll, uh, offensive page. But in reality, it was just a troll using fake pictures. And I don't think anybody knows who was behind the account. It could have been some 400-pound Lithuanian person laying on their bed like how Trump said. It could have been some kind of 400-pound hacker laying on their bed. It could have been some guy randomly in his underoos just tweeting at people, getting a big following, using fake pictures. Now, this story is crazy because I was asked about this person. Like, hey, man, you see what Erica Marsh tweeted? Are you going to do a reaction? It's like, well, who is this person, Erica Marsh? Man, they got a lot of followers and it's a blue check, but what does that really mean? As far as a blue check, you see on Twitter, as of right now, as of me recording this video, Sunday, August 20th, 2023, you don't need any kind of ID verification to become verified on Twitter. All you got to do, pay your $8, you got a blue check. Once you go to Facebook, Meta, Instagram, whatever, you pay $15 a month and you got to have ID verification. So if you're verified on Meta, you are who you say you are. I mean, you could have done identity theft, but that's a different story, and I digress. You are who you say you are over there, but on Twitter, you could be anybody. You know, all you got to do is pay you $8 to get your blue check. So the blue check doesn't really mean much. And then as far as the follower count, I think people got fooled because the person had attractive pictures, and a lot of guys are thirsty. That's ultimately what happened and why so many guys and girls got fooled by the fake account. Now, before I go any further into it, let's watch this from CNN. They're going to talk about the whole situation, the whole scam, and they're going to interview the actual person whose pictures were stolen. Now, this is not the person who was tweeting. The person who was tweeting, we have no idea. But the person whose pictures were stolen is an actual Trump supporter, although the account was some kind of fake liberal stuff. You see what I'm saying? And if you want to see it in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Erica Marsh. Erica Marsh. Erica. Erica Marsh. Erica Marsh quickly rose as a viral left-wing voice on social media. Her incendiary tweets, often ultra-liberal and politically charged, drew millions of views and the ire of Republicans. Tweets like, do you agree that drag story hour should be mandated for elementary school students? And why does it seem like most Republicans are pedophiles? Now let's pause right here. A lot of these tweets I saw, and they got a lot of interaction from a lot of people. And... It, it created some conversations, like the one about drag queen story time. I remember that one. That that went pretty pretty viral. Um, but this person, we have no idea who it is. The picture is a real person, but that's not who was tweeting. The account had nearly 130,000 followers. Marsha's top tweet viewed more than 27 million times. Twitter, which now goes by X, took down the account a few weeks ago. It was a fake, but the photos were not. Now... Well, hello. CNN exclusively shares the real face that's on the notorious account. Yes, it is her. These are old pictures. They're going to talk about that in a minute because some are going to say, oh, that's not her. This is fake, fake news, CNN. That is her. They, they're going to explain in a minute. Are you Erica Marsh? No. But that's your face. Seems to be. Why are you talking to us? I want to tell the world that that's not me. My name is not Erica Marsh. I'm Courtney. Courtney Ballesteros lives in a rural part of the Tampa Bay area in Florida. She showed CNN her original photos, nearly a decade old. Mm. She says they were stolen from her Facebook page. In my grandmother's front yard. By whoever or whatever is behind this account named Erica Marsh. The photos on the account are from when Courtney was still a teenager. 
she's since gotten married and had children. Let's pause right here. Now, there is quite a bit of this going on all over the internet with people's pictures being stolen and whole fake accounts being created. Now, when it gets really crazy is when these accounts are used to scam people out of money. Uh, I've watched a lot of these, uh, these, these shows on YouTube where they have the romance scamming. And a lot of times there'd be some guys in Nigeria using pictures they steal from people's Facebook pages. Um, both men and women will get impersonated and they will just take money from people. I've heard stories about people's retirement being drained, people selling their houses, all kind of stuff from fake profiles using stolen pictures. And it happens right here on my channel too and other YouTube channels where I'll post a video and you guys will reply, leave a comment on my video. And then someone who may be using my picture and a name that looks similar to me will reply to your comment talking about, hey, uh, contact me on WhatsApp. Let's talk about Forex, all this, that, and the third. And some of you guys will respond. Now you're caught up in a trap. Now you're caught up in a scam. And I say it on every live stream, please don't get involved. I will never ask you to contact me on some kind of shady, ridiculous number. You go to my contact page on my website, all my contact info is right there. Please don't get scammed. But I still get emails occasionally of someone who gets scammed. This is very common. All right, Courtney, let me have you read um, Erica Marsh's probably most popular tweet. It got over 27 million views. And then tell me what you think about it. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. No black person will be able to succeed in a merit-based system. And what do you think? I remember that. I remember that very well. That was that was crazy. And the, the crazy part about that is that there were quite a few people on the left who agreed with that. Outright racism they agreed with. But hey, vote Joe Biden, 81 million. I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless, because while this viral fake account shares Courtney's face, they do not share the same politics. Are you liberal? No, ma'am. No. <laughs> Are you a Republican? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Can I ask you which way you voted in the last presidential elections? Of course I voted for Trump. So you sense the irony here, right? Yes. Some people thought that this was an AI generated Correct. image. Yeah. I when I saw that 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 was also made me laugh. I was like, they don't even think I'm real. <laughs> I thought it was AI as well. I, I figured the account was fake because some of the tweets were just so ridiculous and so nonsensical and then there was no video of her ever talking and then it looked like some kind of news correspondent but if you're a news correspondent or some kind of tv personality then you would have videos of yourself talking but there was never any of that there was no website there was nothing it was just one picture basically so i knew that it was fake and i thought that it might be an ai generated picture <laughs> it was her friends who first alerted her hey like there's this twitter account is it yours? They're posting uh, crazy things. Over months, Marsh only grew more popular. I think there was even a elected representative that interacted with the account. Yeah, Matt Gates. Like, with my face. <laughs> so that is shocking. But Courtney only grew more concerned about its message. Twitter has a policy against impersonation. Once the Erica Marsh account was removed, Courtney felt relieved, but not safe. I don't want to be out in public and someone noticed my picture uh, that was on the account, approached me, approached my family. Who knows what someone would do that didn't agree with it, what Erica Marsh was saying. Whoever's running this account knows what people like and knows how to get attention. Darren Linville, a professor at Clemson University, studies disinformation and trolling. What is Erica Marsh? Is it a parody? Is it a troll? Is it a disinformation campaign? What is she? Uh, Erica Marsh is a fake online influencer. She isn't a troll in the way that a lot of viewers may think of a troll. Linvel believes this was the work of a professional. This is not an amateur, no. It'd be very hard for an amateur to get to well over 100,000 followers. But what is, a, what is an amateur? Like, what does that really mean? What is a professional? I mean, I don't understand. You can have people that just know what to say and use pictures that are attractive to get thirsty guys to follow 
That's not necessarily rocket science, in my humble opinion. Followers in such a, such a short amount of time. And Courtney's pictures plucked on purpose. She looks all American. She looks friendly. But ultimately, it's about influence. It's meant to engage. Just say the right, just say the right thing, man. This guy is um, lying himself. He is misinformation himself. The pictures are attractive. That's the thing. Okay, she was probably 18 years old, uh, young and attractive. Guys are going to be thirsty and follow her. That's what it was. Now, if you were to pick some uh, gigantic beach whale or something like that for the picture, it wouldn't get quite as much traction. Or if there was no photo with the picture, no, no photo on the profile, it wouldn't get that much traction. Let's be all the way real here, sir. Engage with a very specific audience and to get people a little bit angry. Whether the goal of the account was to generate money or sow division, Linvel says the real owner of Erica Marsh is likely still operating on the platform. Is there any way to tell who's responsible for Erica Marsh or where they come from? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It's just fake. <laughs> you know, it's fake. The whole thing was fake. And on the profile, it says that Eric Marsh worked on the Biden Obama campaigns. I assume that's fake as well. Uh, you, you don't say Anderson Cooper. You're you're using your brain, ain't you? Anderson, it was all made up. But as you saw, quite sophisticated there. Experts tell us that this easily could have been the work of a foreign government or a group or even a ploy to make money from all the clicks and attention that Erica Marsh was getting. Either way, there is a real concern here about these sorts of fake accounts and the influence that they could have leading up to the 2024 presidential election. It also had a blue check on the account. What does X, formerly known as Twitter, say about this? Well, Twitter rarely responds these days to media requests uh, for comments. Plus, Twitter and Facebook have recently laid off hundreds of people, including the very staff whose job it was to tackle disinformation and these sorts of fake accounts. So it really points to it making it harder to police these sorts of fake influencers. Well, I mean, that's nothing to do with it. I mean, what are you really going to do? Ultimately, what you're going to have to do is what Facebook well, Meta, Facebook, Instagram, what they have done is for their pay verification program, which I have, I've paid for all my stuff. I paid for my verification on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But on Meta, you have to provide your ID. They got to do that on, on Twitter as well. And I saw that they might try to roll something like that out. That'd be the way you combat it. So a so-called Erica Marsh could not do what they did. Typically, that's kind of how it goes. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, the reason why I covered this story is because I want to warn you guys about a lot of the fake stuff online, not just some of the big accounts, the paid stuff, even some of the trolls that to some of us appear to be obvious, but not everybody's very computer savvy and it might, it might seem real to them. So you guys, please be vigilant, be aware of who you're interacting with. Don't be eager to send money. Don't be eager to send personal information. Please protect yourself online because scamming is at an all-time high. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you? How do you feel about this whole Erica Marsh kerfuffle? Did you uh, interact with that account? Did you see some of those tweets? Did you know that it was fake from the beginning? Have you uh, encountered other fake accounts and you were kind of fooled or you might have been a little suspicious. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys know where I'm at. There's a lot of scamming going on, and I don't want everybody to be hyper vigilant because I don't want anybody to get scammed and uh, have anything bad happen to them or get beat out of money. Please, oh, please, oh, please, don't get scammed in 2023. Ain't nobody got time for that. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.